one of the services we provide here at Hill Vascular is hemodialysis access. And um, this is how patients on dialysis, hemodialysis to be more specific, have the blood uh, taken from the body so that it can go into a dialysis machine, uh, be washed, if you will, take out the toxins and waste products, and then brought back to the body and then uh, introduced into the vascular system. I like to uh, create what we call a vascular access uh, that is using one's own natural tissues uh, namely the veins and the arteries. So what we can do is, is in the arm, uh, we like to go as close to the hand as we can with these uh, what we call arteriovenous fistulas. And we make a, a small incision in the operating room under anesthesia. There's usually local anesthesia with some sedation. We don't really need to put patients to sleep for this uh, most of the time. And we make a small incision. We dissect out the arteries and the veins, and then we uh, will divide a vein and then uh, plug it in or sew it into the side of the artery and this creates a direct shunt so the blood comes from the heart into the arm and on the way to the hand some of the blood goes into this um, new connection the fistula and then back to the heart directly so it's a high flow what we call low resistance circuit and the blood flow through that um, fistula is very very high about 10 times higher than the normal flow through the artery before the fistula is created um, this uh, uh, stimulates the vein to, uh, number one, enlarge and lengthen uh, so that you get uh, a larger diameter uh, that will accept more flow and uh, the wall will thicken as well uh, that allows uh, the dialysis technicians to access the uh, fistula uh, with the needles to uh, allow for dialysis. Uh, so that is the best uh, type of um, hemodialysis access we can provide as a native arterial venous fistula or AV fistula. Uh, sometimes the veins in the arm are not adequate uh, to create a native AV fistula. So we have tubes that are uh, prosthetic made of uh, um, inert uh, polymer materials like uh, PTFE or polytetrafluoroethylene, which is the same type of material in Gore-Tex uh, clothing. It's fashioned in tubes so that we can connect one side of the, the tube to the artery and the other side of the vein and the blood will then travel from the artery through the uh, vascular graft into the vein and we tunnel these beneath the skin very close to the skin so that the dialysis technicians can then access the graft and that's called an AV graft arterial venous graft and it's a good option for patients too it's something we consider a permanent hemodialysis access uh, patients who don't have adequate veins and if uh, an arterial venous graft is not a good option or if a patient suddenly goes into kidney failure and they need dialysis uh, urgently or emergently we don't have time to do these operations in that case uh, a hemodialysis catheter can be put in uh, the catheter actually goes through a vein usually in the neck we call the internal jugular vein on the right side or left and then is tunneled beneath the skin and then comes out uh, along the chest area and the catheter has two uh, ports, one is the venous and one is the arterial. Uh, so the uh, venous draws the blood away through the machine and then the other uh, brings it back uh, into the catheter and then the blood flows back uh, very close to the heart uh, where the uh, catheter tip is positioned actually in the right atrium of the heart. Um, so these are the three types of access for hemodialysis. As I said, the best is a native arterial venous fistula and that's what we always strive to offer patients. And then once a patient has a permanent uh, fistula or uh, arterial venous graft, it needs to be monitored and maintained. So sometimes we can have narrowing that will form, scar tissue might form in the fistula or the vein outflow. And uh, when the patient goes to dialysis, the machine might alarm or it might show that the uh, pressures on the machine are too high, uh, in which case, uh, unless it's corrected, the fistula or graft might fail or it might not have enough flow uh, for adequate dialysis. And so that needs to be corrected. And that's something we can do at Hill Vascular in our angio suite. We can actually do uh, studies with um, intravenous uh, iodine and image these areas of narrowing. We can use intravascular ultrasound sometimes as well if it's needed. Um, then we can balloon and if necessary, even put stents, which are uh, like metal uh, cages, if you will, that kind of expand and, and hold open 
the blood vessel so that um, the blood can go through without any obstruction. So these are things that are done to maintain a dialysis access once it's placed. Uh, we consider all of our patients um, uh, very uh, important members of our community and we are here to serve them. And our ultimate goal is to optimize their quality of life uh, during the time that they're on dialysis. And uh, we like to let them know that we're here for them and we work with their nephrologist uh, to ensure that they um, have hopefully uninterrupted access for their, their dialysis. Thank you.